Baraga girls at home tonight against Chassel. Early first quarter, Panthers looking to strike first. Ball inside to Sophia Huta, and Sophia the first gets the first bucket in this one. Vikings would answer, though. Ball outside to Jalen Lindemann for three, and Fresh Lynn hits the tray as Baraga gets on the board. Back the other way, Millie Allen bounce pass to Meg No Joke Hokinson, and she gets the basket and the foul. Chassel takes a double-digit lead early in the second, so the Vikings needed some points in a hurry. Fresh Lynn goes left-handed all the way and off the glass to try and chip away at the lead, but it wouldn't be enough as Chassel hangs on for the win, 42-33. Let's go across the bay to Lance as the Purple Hornets hosted Wakefield Marinisco. Fourth quarter, Cardinals looking for a spark. Haley, H-squared, Hodula gets the basket and the foul. A little later, Taylor Brown gets the steal. She gets mugged in the process, flips it up, and that's what Brown can do for you. She gets the and one for the Purple Hornets, but the Cardinals would keep battling. Alexa Gillette gets it, and Alexa, show me a made basket. Nice play there, but Wakefield Marinisco had a lot of digging to do, and Addison Madsen didn't make it easy for them. Ed Matt had the uh, 14 points for the Purple Hornets, and they get the win tonight, 74-32. More scores as Calumet hangs on for the win over Hancock, 46-43. Dollar Bay rallied late, but they would fall to Jeffers at home, 46-35. Julianne Wickman scores 22 points as North Dickinson knocks off Norway, 59-53. And Menominee escapes Iron Mountain with a win, 45-43. Riley Pupur scored 15 points for the Mountaineers. To Gladstone now, the Braves at home as they hosted Kingsford. Lots of action early on in this one. Shot no good here, but Caitlin Tuslick Hardwick gets the offensive board and cleans it up. Gladstone has the first points of the game, but the Flivers, they answer immediately. Olivia Allen from three, and it's good. Oh, 22 gets Kingsford on the board. Moments later, Jordan, the handles Kriegel. Man, she is a beast off the dribble. Left hand off the glass and in as the Flivers take the lead. Lots of back and forth action. Taylor Hunter to Andy, the baller Ballinger for the 17 foot jump shot. And we are tied up again. And the Braves started to roll. Ball inside to the Crow, Megan Crow that is, as she scores to give Gladstone the lead. But Kingsford was out to play spoiler. Renee Roberts drives into the defense and scores R squared, keeping things interesting. But in the end, Gladstone would go on to win this one, 52 to 43, the final score. More scores. Barkover Harris has no trouble with Big Bay Denak, 61-25. Besmer led Waters meet by one at halftime, but the Speed Girls exploded in the second half as they topped the Nimrods, 61-40. More girls basketball, Republic of Michigami at home taking on you and Trout Creek. Early first quarter, Panthers already up 2-0. Pass is tipped by Taylor Raisinen, and Speed Racer takes it all the way to the hoop. A little later, ball goes to turn the page. Berglund from the top of the three-point line, and that's money. She knocks it down as the Panthers retake the lead. Next possession in ETC sticks with what works. Berglund again from downtown, and she hits the tray to push the lead to eight. But don't count out the Hawks. Another steal by Raisinen and another two points for RM. She finished with 14 points on the night, but the Pan Panthers showed off their defense too. Sealed by Gracie Witt, who pushes it to Berglund for the layup. Ewan Trout Creek gets the road win tonight, 72-30, the final score.